Hi, this is Chet. Let's talk about arrangements for your fan application. So there's only two types of arrangements that you can go with to drive your fan. One is a direct driven arrangement and the other is a belt driven arrangement. A direct driven arrangement says that your motor is directly driving your fan wheel. There's nothing between the motor and your wheel other than maybe a coupling that will join your motor shaft to your fan shaft so your motor is directly affecting the speed of your fan and so your fan will operate if running at a full 60 Hertz it will operate at the motor speed all the time belt driven allows you to vary your speed and so your belt or your motor maybe an 1800 rpm motor but you want to run a fan at 2500 rpm through using a belt drive you can vary the size of your shivs which connect to your different shafts and allow yourself to run a fan at 2500 RPM by use of varied shiv diameters. The benefits to a belt driven system is that you have greater variance of speeds available in your system. And so we see a lot of belt driven applications and material handling applications uh, where, where you don't want the motor to necessarily be put in harm's way and be directly driving the wheel you want there to be a buffer of belts between a motor and a fan to kind of absorb some of the wear and tear that that fan's going to see. Another reason for belts is that you don't want to utilize a VFD on your fan and so your motor is going to always be directly connected at 60 Hertz operation and it's never going to change speed and down the road your customer or you if you're using a fan may want to change the speed yourself and a belt is the least expensive way to do that. The benefits of direct driven systems are that it requires less parts, less maintenance. You have a motor sometimes directly mounted to a wheel. Sometimes you have a motor that is coupled to a fan shaft, but in either case, you don't have those belts, you don't have those shivs and those bushings to maintain over the years. And so your maintenance people tend to prefer direct drive when it comes to just common daily maintenance. Another reason that direct drive is preferable is footprint a lot of times. An arrangement for fan can fit into a much smaller space and that's in a direct drive where your motor is right up on the fan wheel and it's used frequently in applications that are really tightly constrained and you need a, you need a small compact design to get in there. Direct drive is also preferable for really big fans where your, your motor should be driving your shaft because you'll lose too much power through a belt driven arrangement. The poles from the belt will actually pull on your fan shaft in the lateral direction too greatly and your motor will burn out pretty quickly. So in big fans, once you pass the 200 horsepower plateau, you pretty much want to stick to direct drive if you can help it for the sake of just longevity.